Okay, so initially we'll cover the resolutions that we use in the analog systems, so analog cameras or even high quality analog as well, but basically are the, the initial or you know, in the early stages it was the ones that was most uh, commonly used. So we will start with SIF. SIF, Common Intermediate Format. This format was created to be easily converted between PAL and NTSC. So how this SIF resolution works? So initially we have here uh, this screen here. This we can call as SIF. And the number of pixels in the width and the height is 352 by 240. Okay. We have also another type of SIF, which is Q SIF, which is half of the height and half of the uh, width of the SIF. Okay. So this is Q SIF. We have another resolution which is called 2SIF. 2SIF. And it's twice as the width that, that we have in the SIF, but in the same height. So this is 2SIF. And the last one, this major box it's for SIF it's the highest resolution which is twice as the two proportion of SIF okay so that's just uh, uh, understanding what is the proportion between the SIFs and basically we have this resolution uh, currently in the cameras not all cameras, but uh, a few ones will have this resolution. The most common one that we use for like substream, which is the stream that we don't have like a higher um, resolution is the D1, which is 720 by 480. And we have the 960, which is 960 by 980. So basically these uh, are resolutions that we can consider more for analog systems or very low resolutions that we can use in the substream. Okay, so jumping to higher resolutions that we can see today in IP cameras or even in some high quality cameras as well, high quality analog cameras. So we have a variety of, of number of resolutions. And so we can start with the 720p we have the senate i will put here in the graph just to show a little bit of proportion proportion and an example for k right so we have the 720p it's uh it's still very used this one we have uh 1.3 megapixel we have the 1080p 1080p it's widely used as well we'll have the 2 megapixel camera and then we we'll go up 3 4 5 6 8 and 12 megapixel 4k so why we have so many resolutions available so depending on the project uh, it's required to get more detail in the image or if the camera is installed in a, in a specific distance it will not get enough detail if you have a low resolution because in the end the re resolution here is showing how many pixels we have in the image so if we have more pixels we'll have more details more information in this image ok 
okay and even if your monitor doesn't support like a 4k for example if you monitor or support a 1080p resolution you still can have a camera recording at 4k and you can zoom in this image and get information like a face or a license plate or something like that okay doing this digital zoom in for example okay and we have another uh, component with this ratio which is uh, the most common is 4x3 or 16x9 so this will basically show the proportion of the, the image depending on the camera for example fish eye if you are seeing the 360 view you will probably have this view or even uh, like an, an equal proportion for all the um, the, the measures in your in your stream okay okay so let's jump to another component which is fps so fps is frames per second so basically it's the frame height this camera is sending information to the nvr or to the client so as we know in like movies the movie is basically a sequence of static images and, and, and it's the same concept with the camera as well. So we can have um, different numbers of FPS uh, for each project, but the default one, the, the uh, standard FPS will be 30 frames per second, which is a good value that will have um, a fluid uh, view of the scene so we will not see any like a robotic movements or, or something like that it will be a very fluid but we need to recall that if we have more frames in per second we have more information for each frame to to send to the NVR so we we'll have more data more bit height and more bit height we have more storage in it as well so we can have uh, some some uh, installers use like 20 FPS that still have the same feeling. It's not like 30 frames per second, but it can still see the more like like a fluid uh, sensation in the video. But uh, it will actually vary on the, each product needs. Depending on the project, uh, if you have like more like a slow movements in the scene you can even decrease like for a 15 for example so uh, it will really depend on each product needs we have other needs as well like for example uh, casinos or for license place recognition so these uh, these special requirements will require more frames they will need like for they will have uh, the the movements that will happen in the scene are very quickly so um, a car dealer so it, it's very fast the movements so we need more frames per second to not uh, have like a blur image in the in the scene so these cases here and as LPR as well the car is you know is passing very fast they probably require a uh, 60 frames per second so special requirements of course it's not uh, necessarily for a small and medium business but uh, it's um, it's a, a common value for this type of application